The peaceful world of Father Johann was shaken one day when he found unwanted guests in his church in Isvale, Romania. Insects had invaded the church's precious icons. They were eating away at the wood and were threatening to destroy these sacred works of art. As parish priest, he felt it was his responsibility to take action. She... At the beginning, I started to inject chemical solutions in the insect holes. Because the icons are thick objects, the injected solution did not enter deeply enough from the surface and there was no effect. That's why I had to consider a better solution. The solution came from an unusual source, radiation, stored in a six meter deep water pool at a radiation processing center in Bucharest. When activated, this radioactive source emits powerful gamma rays that can kill insects, bacteria and fungi. The facility is mainly used to sterilize medical supplies and food, but there's also room for contaminated works of art in the irradiation chamber, including Father Johann's infested icons. In this facility could be treated each object made of natural uh, materials. Uh, usually such uh, materials, such natural materials, are attacked by biological aggressors. Like insects, it is the case, especially the case of wood, or fungi and microorga other microorganisms like bacteria. Before treatment, microbiologists carry out tests on the damaged objects to find out which kind of contaminant they need to tackle and the radiation dose needed to kill it. Books, paintings, clothes, musical instruments and even mummies can all be treated and conserved using this radiation technique. It doesn't alter or damage the precious works of art. They don't become radioactive and it's quick and effective. One of the major applications of radiation processing is radiation sterilization. And by extension, with, we, with radiation we can inactivate any kind of bacteria and fungi or other uh, biological uh, uh, organisms. The Amman Museum in city centre Bucharest is currently undergoing renovation. The damp conditions were a perfect breeding ground for insects and fungi, which infested the building and its contents. Such problems can be controlled using chemicals, but the museum opted for irradiation. Any other uh, method uh, could be much more expensive, and we don't uh, have the opportunities to uh, have all this uh, very special equipment and uh, also um, was uh, much more dangerous even for, now, for our health. And uh, for uh, items, not on the second level, but at the first level, for the items, all these um, um, residues that re remain in the object could be more dangerous than this irradiation. After treatment, works of art are returned to the museum and carefully restored. Once all the objects are contaminant-free, the museum will be reopened to the public. These projects in Romania show how radiation can be used successfully to treat damaged artefacts. The International Atomic Energy Agency operates programs all over the world that promote and support the use of nuclear techniques to preserve our cultural heritage. Eventually, the icons were reinstalled. The priest and the church community were pleased with the results and the insects did not come back. <laughs>